I need coffee. Yeah, that's the worst one I've seen yet. Coffee. And there's our delicious breakfast, coffee at all. So, yay for camping at home. It's still really windy, but uh, at least it's not raining anymore. You can see all over there. I'm sure the camera can't pick any of it up, but it's all down trees. I don't know if the camera can see the clouds, but everything is moving. Uh, what is that? South. Yeah, that should be south. Everything is moving south very rapidly. And all the clouds are really low. It's very eerie. Very eerie. It's funny, they got power over there. But, uh, looks like that whole neighborhood, you can hear somebody's generator off of that neighborhood. And actually, here I am. Should we get in the car? You know, the dome light on this car has not come on in probably six months. It has some random problem where it just stopped working. And tonight, of all nights, uh, I open the car door and boom, dome light. It's so, so just crazy. The time stuff takes to work at random. And you know, the driver's seat probably isn't the most comfortable spot, but my passenger seat's full of crap. So. Uh, took the CPAP up. Hook all my phones up to charge. <coughs> Excuse me, I try to get a few hours sleep. It's, 335. Ooh. I think I slept. Uh, I think it was almost 11 when I went to bed. But uh, luckily, you know, <laughs> I've lost 90, 90 pounds since January 1st. And 90 pounds ago, had I slept for even an hour without my CPAP. My throat would be killing me, and I couldn't hardly be talking, and it would just be a nightmare. So now I slept, what, four, four and a half-ish, maybe, hours without it. Um, and my throat's a little scratchy, but it doesn't bother me. So I think, ugh, my, uh, my snoring has definitely improved, along with my sleep apnea which is great. So, now I am going to put my machine on, though, and try to get a few more hours. So, I will catch everybody in the morning. Ooh. Good morning. It's a little after 7. I slept off and on since 3.30 or whatever. It was still very hard to get comfortable and sleep out here. I kept thinking I should go inside and get a pillow, but I never did. Uh, and surprisingly, it's 64 degrees, so it's actually kind of cold. Oh. I think that's that same lady again with the trolley on her bike. I guess she survived the storm. I almost want to drive around town just to see the damage, but whatever. 
That was my neighbor just drove by. <laughs> yeah, you can see the. So that tree's holding constant tension on tension on that power line. And then the other three that it pulled down are laying on the fence. And then laying across the road. And then uh, cars keep going by. Any car tall enough keeps going by and hitting it. There's this one laying on the road. That, that, that looks more like a ground cable because that's just an exposed cable. Yeah, you can see the those two wires up there that are just hanging bare. Looks like it tore down the little fence thing that surrounds the other dumpster over there. I think that tree falling over there is what started it all. Hmm. If it wasn't all soaking wet, I'd come start collecting firewood from all the stuff that's fallen down. Looks like they boarded the office up, but didn't board anything else up, of course. Of course. I mean, how could they board up a whole an apartment complex? That would be thousands of windows and tens of thousands of dollars in wood. Yeah, such good firewood here. If it had time to sit out and dry in a place to store it, I'd come start collecting it. <laughs> I need coffee. Oh! Oh! Yeah! That's the worst one I've seen yet. His, uh, like, whole basket rack caught it. That was a county truck, too.
What if he tore it down completely now? Yep, it's no longer hanging over the road. He tore it down totally. Yep, it snapped completely once he hit it. Well, the good news is it's no longer hanging over the road. So you may notice there's bricks in my grill. It's actually something I've seen online um, before I got the smoker. Basically, you in, instead of buying the like $40 divider baskets for the Weber kettle grill, brick are the exact perfect height. And you basically just stack two bricks this way and this way, and you've got your two hot hot zones with coals, or you just do one depending on how you want to do your smoke. But uh, it's the uh, the redneck way to have an indirect zone and a direct zone on one of these kind of grills. Just use two bricks. So for today's demonstration, I just put all four bricks together to make a little tight pocket for all the coal to sit into. I just want as much concentrated heat as I can. And uh, I'm using... Percolator, which so this is a uh, all metal camping percolator, and I've used it several times while camping. Um, today, however, I am only using it to boil water because while I'm have no power, I'm gonna be extra bougie and make coffee with the French press, so I just need some boiling water. With our very bougie morning coffee this morning, I got the French press here, all loaded with coffee already. Plunger in. Now I have to press it just a tiny bit. And let it sit there for, I don't know, five minutes or so. We'll be ready. Alright, I think it's been long enough.
this thing makes excellent coffee. However, the filter screen is not the greatest, so I am uh, still gonna have probably coffee grinds in my coffee. See how close we got on the uh, amount of water I used. Ooh, nailed it. trying to decide if it's worth it to open my refrigerator up to get my gully cream out. I went ahead and opened the fridge and got my gully cream. Stuff in the refrigerator is still mildly cool. So I imagine everything in the freezer is still cold. some bacon and I got some eggs both of which were getting warm in the refrigerator so time to cook bacon was originally intended to be cut up and used for either carbonara or a bacon mac and cheese that I was going to make. Um, however, with it getting warm, and I figured I'd just go ahead and cook it. Okay, now that our bacon is done, just pulling off the last few pieces now. basically camping so it doesn't have to be pretty. Alright. All right, so I got uh, four eggs left from this carton so that's what I'm going to have that. Anyone who knows bacon grease fried eggs are amazing. Second, and those yolks should set. Oh, yeah. It's a perfect eggs.
And there's our delicious breakfast, coffee and all. So, yay for camping at home. My hair this morning. Ooh. Now the yolk got a little more done than I would have normally liked. It's more like uh, over medium instead of over easy. But... Ah. Let go. Mm. I was way too big of a bite, and now it's in my beard. God, it's so delicious. Even cooking the same thing in the house, it wouldn't be this good. There's something about working a little harder and cooking over a fire that makes it even better. So good. Well, <clears throat> we're roughing it. I say we're doing okay. But uh, this phone's about to die, so how are we going to put it on the charger in the car? And uh, I think I'm going to load up my freezer and take it to my buddy uh, Tripp's house because he's got power. And with all these power lines down and run over and yanked off the poles, I don't see it. I don't see me having power even today, probably. But all right, I'll update later. All right, making our first drive out this morning. It's only 67 degrees now. Still feels wonderful. But uh, gonna head over to mom's house really quick and. Help my stepdad get the boards off the house. <laughs> Here's the power cables. Lots of down trees and branches. And... Oh, that sign got pushed over. church. Oh, more power lines. That sign is missing. This light's still completely out. It was out yesterday. There's lots of debris. that was loose on any any tree pretty much came down. This guy has one of those huge turtles. I hope hope it got to stay inside with us. Oh wow look at that whole tree down over there covered the whole road. It's like a bunch of neighbors all pitching in to get it cleared. Well, it's about... It's 5.30 now. Still have no power. Crews haven't even showed up. Um, and I imagine, like I said earlier, with the amount of lines down, I don't expect to have power until at least tomorrow or the next day. 
I am going to be packing the freezer up here in a little bit and going to my buddy's house. I am uh, got the grill going again though. My mother had some steaks that were just basically having to thaw because they had no power either. So I invited her and my stepdad over and I'm going to grill steaks on the, the grill. So I got it going out there with some, some potatoes to have a grilled baked potatoes and we'll have our steaks and then I will uh, take my stuff and along with uh, like a go bag and then uh, I'll just stay at my buddy's house tonight so I can finally sleep with my CPAP a whole night in peace. basically severely sprained my left wrist um, <laughs> it bent that bit, bit, bitch back all the way basically I, the, this particular board was stuck in the window frame I took all the screws out that was holding it to the house and it didn't budge so I had my left hand just kind of lightly holding the bottom of it that it started to come loose but the rest hadn't, hadn't come loose and I'm trying to figure out you know where it's caught at and then it just decided to let go and anyone that knows uh, like a four by four you know four feet by four feet sheet of like three quarter inch plywood does not weigh uh or sorry is, is, is not lightweight so my wrist that was unprepared for that weight all of a sudden it bent that left wrist back all the way um and then the board just kind of fell and smacked me in the face because I was in shock with how much pain my wrist was in all of a sudden and then I uh, ended up just dropping the board after that and yeah my, my wrist was in bad shape I iced it for like 30 minutes you know then we ended up I just dealt with the pain I ended up getting my canoe emptied out of all the water and then uh, my stepdad and I cut a tree down that was on the power lines and then uh, then I went home and I did end up going to the ER because it started getting it was pretty painful enough that my mother encouraging me to get it checked out you know actually worked so went and got an x-ray just a really bad sprain so luckily nothing's for you know fractured or whatever so and then uh, uh, cook, cook dinner yeah, my mom invited me over for steaks they had. They were, you know, thawing out now because they still have no power. Uh, I instead offered for them to come over, and so I cooked us steaks and steamed broccoli and stuff on the grill. And then I took all my frozen foods over to my buddy's house, and now I'm driving to Sarasota to check out one of our Coke facilities because um, that's what I do for a living. I'm an IT guy for Coca-Cola here in Florida. But, and we're trying to start business up again tomorrow morning, so I gotta check out a couple facilities tonight. So, it's gonna be a long night. I still ha still don't have power. There, there wasn't even crews there working on it or even looking at it yet when I left the house at like 7. So, I, I don't anticipate having power for at least another day or two, probably. Doesn't seem like we're very high on the priority list. <laughs> but... So yeah, I'll figure out where I'm going to sleep tonight. Um, I was going to go back and sleep at my buddy's house, but if I don't get back till 2 or 3 in the morning from checking these facilities, then I'm not going to go try to wake him up to get in. So I'll either just sleep again without my CPAP machine or I'll sleep in the car in the parking lot at the apartment. So we'll see. Anyway, catch you guys up when I get more updates.